ביוטיפל. תודה. שלום נוריה. שלום, שלום. And welcome to culture buzz. Yeah. Welcome to Israel. Thank you. I love this country. All the way from Mexico via New York. Probably via another place. Via, yes, via most recently Spain, Andalusia. A truly mm-hmm. cosmopolitan, young and bright musician. Thank you. So how did it all start? I'm sorry? How did it all start? How did it all start? I, I feel that it started... You want to know the truth? I feel it started in the womb. The best place. My mother's womb, yes. The best place. Because my mother... When she was pregnant with me was in music school. She was in conservatory in Mexico. So um, So I think that's you know, those were the very early beginnings. Thank you mother. Yes Imashali. <laughs> How was your Hebrew by the way? I get sad, but when I promise the next time I come to Israel I will speak. We have a deal. We have a deal. We'll do another interview and it'll be 70% in Hebrew. A pleasure and an honor. <laughs> But English, like, is, English is fine. Thank you. Spanish? Unfortunately not. But so the next time I come, I'll do Hebrew and you'll do Spanish. I think Hebrew is uh, much more probable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are younger and much more talented. Yeah. So your music. Yes. I know that you are here mm-hmm. to perform in Israel. Yeah. And we are looking forward. I'm very looking forward as well. To this. Yes. We have seen a few clips mm-hmm. and we were quite impressed. Right. Hopefully music. Be it's your music, right? Yes, yes. The majority of what I will be playing is my music, and we have a few other things that we'll include in the program as well that will be some surprises that I believe... Surprises is yes, good? Yes, yes. Nice, lovely surprises. And if I had to ask you this terrible question, <laughs> how would you describe your music? How would I describe what music? What would you say? Fusion? Maybe, Everybody's favorite word. Maybe confusion? <laughs> Somewhere between the two, possibly. Um, I would say it's a combination of Latin music from different parts of Latin America, including Mexico, Cuba, South America, and also um, there are elements of Spanish music in addition to Latin American music. And the common thread throughout everything, I believe, is... Um, A, a lilt a certain color of Middle Eastern um, of Middle Eastern melody you know between if it's just you know a few notes in the way that I sing um, or some lines in the trumpet or other horns that's always a common thread throughout everything and what might be the reason for it the reason for it would be that I grew up hearing this music and Because my family is originally from Iraq and Syria, from Baghdad and Harlem. And they fled their countries many years ago, um, in the 20s and also in the early 40s they left. And most of them ended up in Mexico City, where I was born. So that, that's the reason sort of for, the, for the combination. I studied opera, I studied jazz, and at the end I felt that what spoke to me most was Is what I am what I grew up with so this is oh yes this is what it is impressive and uh, a little bird whispered in our ear yes. that there is at least one Israeli musician who is uh, one of your kings yes. Dalal is it yeah Dalal yes he is family through marriage and oh my god what an honor What an incredible honor. What an incredible honor. I think it's honor. mutual. He might say the same. I, I, it would be an honor if he says it's an, that it's an honor for him. I had the blessing of having him um, play violin on one of the pieces of my album. The piece wow. is called Corazón Nomado. And um, yeah, that was really an Corazón incredible honor. Corazón is love. Corazón is heart. Heart. Nomado means nomad. It technically nomada, but I chose to... To make masculine the word nomado because many times corazon is associated with the feminine so I wanted to have a balance the two so the translation will be the nomadic heart, nomadic heart. Wow <laughs> say hello sounds interesting, <laughs> sounds interesting. So. how is it uh, being a musician mm-hmm. that uh, combines 
in his music, in her music, so many influences. Mm-hmm. Does it make it easier or is it harder to make it in the right. cruel and competitive musical world? Right. You know, I, I honestly don't think about um, necessarily changing or doing something else so as to achieve, you know, a different place in my career. I think, I think the best way that I can describe it is this. People have asked me, you know, in the past to kind of to describe my music. And I told them, you know, that growing up in Mexico, our food was, we had Mexican food and other, you know, also food from other parts of Latin America. And with this food, we put trina, we put hummus, we put zatar with tacos, trina with, you know, quesadillas, everything like this. So I think, you know, initially people are perhaps... Um, kind of surprised by the idea about it intellectually but once they taste it like the food you see that it's a really perfect and beautiful combination so I I really I kind of equate it to you know a, a visceral experience um, with the senses I think that once people experience the music the same way that once people experience the food combined like that they're very happy wow. <laughs> beautiful put thank you Nuria what can we wish you for the future Mm, you can wish me um, that I'm able to touch as many people as possible with my music and that um, that I continue in my path and that I become more clear and more strong and more honest and I'm able to really reach people in a way that um, that brings them closer to their heart and brings them to the present moment you know in a, in a joyous way in maybe in melancholy and however there are many avenues but the end goal should be the heart so we wish you all that thank you sir <laughs> and much more thank you and thank we you. promise to attend at least one of your concerts in Israel and maybe good. even uh, take a clip or two yes. from your beautiful music <laughs> I would love that Thank you very much. Nuria, תודה רבה. תודה, עדי. Good luck and <laughs> okay. shalom. Shalom.